Ryston's alimony. And why am I writing about Ryston? Because all the poems in the volume had to relate to a sculpture that was uh, uh, in Joliet produced by some local artists. And this one happened to be about bison, and my job was to write a poem about a bison. Apparently, I want to say about the bison, so this is what came out. The bison's alimony. The bison know a lot about Malonco and wisteria and patrimony. The Paisai nuance of the clouds, God's topological intention. They understand the orphan arroyo. They intuit the numinous prairie. They predict the woolly suburbia. Bison power walk my imagination. I smell in their array dreaming the sedimentary, austere imprints, traces of residual magnetism. Under the nettled knot of August sunshine, in the shadow of a red face of the future, alongside the maternal mystery of the unused river, the bison make their summary judgments. Exact retribution from the enacted masters of wistfulness and pay somber alimony to the ghost of 